And so just kind of moving back a little bit, obviously you've spoken a little bit about it, but thinking about what honk means to you, um, obviously we know what the organizers are trying to achieve, but in terms of your experience as a musician, organizer, whatever, what does honk, honk mean to you? Hmm. It actually brings tears to my eyes thinking about it because uh, it's it's become such an important thing in my life. And it's not just Somerville honk. It's the honk world. Mm -hmm. um, but to me as a musician, it's wonderful fun being there, playing and seeing all these people, having a good time. Um, it's an opportunity for me as an inexperienced musician to be able to perform, which is just, I, I mean, not many, not many people who've played as for as short a time as I have yeah, could be there and have audiences see. having fun and dancing. And that that's really joyful. Um, the, the coming together of the musicians each year, many of them the same people, is a wonderful feeling of community and part of the honk festival that the public doesn't see is the gathering of the musicians um on saturday night it, we have we provide dinner in a big tent and bands play for each other which is very fun we hang out get to know musicians in the other bands that happens both Saturday night and Sunday night. Um, that Those are very special parts of the festival mm -hmm. for me. And I totally appreciate that Somerville helps support that to happen, yeah. even though that is not a public part of the festival. Um, and the workshops I love. I've helped run the, the discussions we call round tables mm -hmm. on Monday morning. Monday is a holiday. And again, it's not a public part of the festival but we have discussions about what bands are doing or where in each of their cities how to start a honk festival and um and i find that very powerful but then again the the global honk community i i've gotten connected with brazilian musicians this way mm -hmm. and have been to honk rio and i've been to honk sao paulo and um and it's spreading like crazy in Brazil. Um, and now this year there was one in Costa Rica. And there are there's at least one honk in Australia. And it's a global community that's very supportive of each other. And, um, you know, if I go down to Rio, I have immediate friends yeah. from the, uh, the other honk musicians. And that's a great, that's a great feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so what do you think keeps people, your average SME, coming back to honk? Um, and, and what, what brings it to, what brings them to the festival and what brings them back, do you think? People, people say that honk is their favorite holiday. Uh, <laughs> I've heard people say that and that they would never go away on Columbus Day weekend because of honk it makes people very happy I, I i the word that i hear most often is the joy that it brings i don't know why but it's just this magical sense of happiness of listening to this music and being in the audience and being in that world for that weekend um and I think it's almost like a drug that people want to come back and feel that again. Um, so yeah, so I think one of the coolest parts about Honk, obviously, is the way is it, it's expanded to other cities and, and even other countries. Um, like you were saying, I don't know how involved you are in kind of working with other other countries to or, or cities uh, to, to organize Honk. Um, but could you talk about a little why you think it spreads so well um, and, and why people wanted to bring it to their home, hometowns? Mm -hmm. 
Sure. I, I'm not involved in helping them organize at all. Uh, we, we have told people in other cities the aspects of Honk that we feel are important, one being that it's free, two being that we house all the musicians, um, three being that it's in the street, um, in that it's not commercial, that we don't accept money from commercial, from cor corporate sponsors. Um, so we have sp spread those values, and I think that they have continued. Um, what was the other part of the question? Um, and what, what makes people, do you think, want to bring Oh, want to do it, yeah. Well, generally it has been bands that have come to our honk festival mm -hmm. or to another honk festival in the U.S. and have gone back and said, you know, I really want to do this here. And I think about Brazil where they have carnival, they have the best festival in the street that exists. So why would they want, why would this be an important thing for them? And I think it's because it's very much in the hands of the musicians to run it um, and that they can make it what they want and um, and that often I'm I think in the countries where they're having the festivals there are po fairly significant political or social issues that they want to to make a point of trying to fight and um, certainly in Brazil, they have a very oppressive government right now. They don't have legal abortion. And I know the band that we invited to the festival from Belo Horizonte this year has been fighting for legalization of abortion. So they see that we're doing these political things here with our music and... Um, if they weren't doing it there, they, uh, they, I think it often encourages mm -hmm. bands to do more of political work. And um, they probably picked up on the joy of the festival yeah. as well, I'm sure.